reason why the world the idea is the reason why the world is so disorderly is because you've got all you now with the cold war gone you've got all these uh, ethnic groups killing each other and so on well as usual it's always a good idea to start by asking about the facts whenever you hear anything said very confidently the first thing that should come to mind is, wait a minute, is that true? Anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, that, that, that we are, we're going in the opposite direction. What kind of message are we giving to this? the world? Um, we have to take into consideration that we have various people who are not Jews and Nazis trying to believe that the Jews are not Jews. But if you don't think there's a global terrorism, you can't believe the Jews are not Jews. Don't touch me. Just okay? to me. He does not need space. What? She needs to shrink, okay? What? You can't say that. Sarah. Sarah. There's an old saying people fear what they don't understand. You're being hunted because I think you're a danger to the world. You're an idealist, right? That's what you are. But I also think you're depressed. Listen, maybe I can help you. Maybe I can help you find your family. Why are you doing this to me? Because this is a war, Mr. Marino. <laughs> and your people are in the thick of it. What did you see, Sarah? You chose to forget your own past. What? Oh, you want to go there now? <laughs> You're really asking for a fight, ain't ya? No, we're definitely not going anywhere, because you just got on the wrong side of us. And since my answer's final question is, what are you going to do about it? This. Whoa. 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 Calm down! We're gonna hurt them! It's too late! This has to stop! Now. Ago, a group of local youths were attacked in a park by two unknown male and females in what is being described as a potential terror-related attack. We're waiting to receive more information in regards to the attack, so stay with us as we look to bring you more breaking news on this very dramatic day. I'm Letitia Jennings, reporting live for the London Discovery News. And cut. How was that? Yeah, not bad, but... Don't you think the terrorist part's just a bit over the top? 
Well, that's what the police are saying. We're just the messenger. I understand that, but uh, is that really enough information for us to go on? Maybe not, but we need a headline, otherwise there's no story. Besides, we need to go and interview those witnesses now, so come on. Let me do the talking, okay? Fine, it's your funeral. Oh. Well, look who we have here. Oh, what do you want? We just need to go over the facts again. You guys probably think we're crazy. Not at all. I mean, what happened here is obviously a very serious criminal offence. Am I right in saying you encountered a white Caucasian male and East Asian female, both in their Yeah, that's right. And you said they were carrying some sort of explosives and were verbally threatening you. They weren't just threatening us, man. They tried to bloody kill us. That guy's hand caught on fire. Right. The old hand on fire. We ain't joking. We're not making this up. You think we're joking? Does this look like a joke to you? Because that's what that freak of a terrorist did to me. He burned my hair off. Okay, okay, calm down. Look, this is what we'll do. We'll take four witness statements from all three of you today. Uh, any chance of a tea break later on? No. Look, I should inform you guys that we do have support organizations to help victims of traumatic experiences, like you guys. You don't need a shrink, mate. Do I look like I need a shrink? Well, it's there if you need it, and I advise you, especially you, to look into it. Look, are we done here? Anything else? Officers? Look at you. Bloody Uncle Tom. We'll be in touch later today. Thanks for your help. Mr Brooks over here. Mr Brooks, please. My name is Letitia Jennings and I work for the London Discovery News. We've answered enough questions today, all right. Please, I just need a minute of your time. You heard the man. Just do one, will ya? Mr Brooks, I believe in what you saw. What do you mean? I believe that there are people out there who can do extraordinary and impossible things. What you experienced today is proof of that. They should pay for what they've done. I understand your anger and your frustration and I'm going to get to the bottom of the truth. Was there any mention of what their names were or who they might be working for? They didn't give us zilch. All he talked about was how the cans are going to hurt us. Right. Are we done here? We've got better things to do. Yes, maybe we can talk later. I just want to ensure we publish your story accurately. Well, Harry will not approve of this. Don't worry, we'll work around it. He knows we're good for it. I hope you're right, because do you remember what Harry did to us last time back in the office? He ripped us apart in front of everyone. Look, I know the truth is out there and we're going to find it no matter what it takes. Come on, Letty. Let's go. Coming. staff meeting today. The staff meeting already took place, Ray. Leonard, I know how this looks, but I swear I can explain myself. I don't want to hear it anymore. But you don't understand. I finally found the answers to what is happening to me. And what is going on, Ray? Because you're going to have to explain it to your line manager. So where does that leave me? You know exactly where that leaves you. If you don't turn up, you should know that you're putting your job on the line. I swear I was going to turn things around. Uh, 
I just said a lot on my plate. Don't we all, Ray? But that's life. I've done all that I can to help you. I have to go now. Leonard, wait. Think we can stop running now? I hate, I hate running. Wow, rude. <laughs> Playing the silent game, are we? Okay. I'm going home. How is that a good idea? And what you did was? Relatively speaking, I had it under control. Oh, really? Then what the hell was that back there? You could have killed someone. There's a tantrum. Okay. What happened again? That's not the point, Ethan. We're supposed to be laying on low profile and... You've made us public enemy number one. It's a bit dramatic, don't you think? Come on! What do you think is going to happen next? No, I can't see the future! <laughs> but you can! I don't need to see the future, Ethan. Do you know where this is going? I am having a bad day, okay? I want to go home. I have a nice bubble bath, okay? I don't have a home. I don't have a bubble bath, okay? I have a knife of those things. And then uh, I have found out that my arch nemesis, okay, the mysterious fellow who's been scrambling up my brain, is me. I'm the villain I've been searching for all this time. What a twist, okay? So you'll excuse me if I am not in the best frame of mind right now. I thought this was about helping each other. What's happening? It's you. How did you find me? Well, we do stop people for a living. You do know that, right? Besides, it's your place of work, right? Not for long. Ooh. What's happened? I think I'm going to lose my job. Fam, how did things escalate so quickly? How do you think? Ever since I discovered I had these powers, I've lost track of everything else. Well, to be fair, it's not every day you find out you're a superhero. Am I one though? Because I sure don't feel like it. You are one, okay? I can't explain to you why we can do the things we can do. But what I do know is that you have this gift for a reason. Maybe I'm better off being normal, living a simple life. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? You're going to overcome this. How? I'm gonna show you. Come on. Where are we going? Just hold on. What the? Sarah. I've got your voicemail. I'm so worried about you. I'm so sorry oh. for storming off. No, you don't worry about that. You have the right to be angry, especially after what Jeff said. I'm just glad that you're okay. I'm okay. There's someone that I want you to meet, though. Hey, I'm Ethan. So, who the hell is he? Oh, it's all right. He's just a friend who needs somewhere to stay for a few days. I hope that's all right. Well, as long as you know who he is, I'm just glad that you're safe. Come in. Sarah, could I have a quick word? Yeah, sure. Sarah, who the hell is this guy? I know it sounds crazy, but I think he can help me. Oh, we've had this conversation before. You need to let this go. You no, know I can't. And unless I hear otherwise, my parents are still alive and he's the only chance I have to find them. No, 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 no,
Ethan, you okay? Uh, yeah, just a bit of heartburn. <laughs> Can you smell that burning? Trust something you barely know. He saved my life, Angela. And things like that don't happen for no reason. Look, I'm just trying to look out for you. And I appreciate it. But please, I need you to trust me. <sighs> okay, I will. I'll support you in every way that I can. But since we're having this conversation, there is something else I need to tell you. What? What is it? I can't explain a word, Sarah. I need to show you. Okay. You're scaring me now. About this before because I was scared Sarah but now I understand what you've been going through uh, th does Jeff know because if he can't accept you that I know who you are that's why we broke up what when did this happen the day after you left I realized after the way he spoke to you that could have been me I'm really sorry. Don't be. Like, I'd rather have my best friend than someone who thinks I'm a freak. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, we'll find answers to what is happening to us. You ladies all right? Yeah, we're, we're fine. Uh, should we get a move on soon? Well, where are you going? Do you get answers? Is there anything I can help you with? No, I don't want you to get involved. You should tell your friend to be alert of any suits. This place is already compromised. What does he mean by suits? Um... There are some dangerous men after us, Angela. Who? Who are they? You sure you want to tell her? We're being hunted by these men because of what we can do. Is that why you never came back? Yeah. Because no one can help us. We're on our own. I suggest you find somewhere else to stay for a couple of days. Just until this calms down. 
Listen. You call me if anything happens. Who oh, will? We should be going now. Look, Sarah. Be careful. Please. <sighs> you too. I will come back and I'll explain everything, I promise. We'll see yourselves out. Oh, man. Man, I hate it when you do that. Hey, that's how teleportation works, all right? Uh, uh, you all right? Where are we? You're looking at the headquarters of the Resistance. <laughs> you are joking, right? No, that's pretty much it, dude. Wait, what were you expecting? I don't know, I thought it might have been some sort of underground base or something. <laughs> Only in the movies, right? Come on, let's go inside. Hey, 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 hey! Watch where you're stepping, man! Oh my god. Do you know the importance of a Laugast? Uh, he doesn't understand the Bengali reference. Anyway, look, tell your mum I said sorry, alright? Ray, I want to introduce you to my boy Adam here. He's the eyes and ears of our operation. So, you're the fastest man alive, eh? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Well, I'm Adam, as you probably already may know. I'm basically like the Oracle from the uh, Batman comics. I'll explain him there. Come on, let's go inside. Ladies and Tarek. <sighs> Welcome to the command center. Wow. Uh, Adam, what you got going on there, man? Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, yeah! Ah! Uh, uh, I, I, I was busy. Uh, what is all this? This is where we spend most of our time finding others like you and staying off the grid. We have access to radio, television, telephones, and classified information. That's how we found you. Hmm. How long have you guys been doing this? Not long, a couple of years maybe at most. This is like something from the Avengers movie. A more accurate term would be the flash or the arrow. Just say. Okay. Mm. Oh, guys, I just got a text message. Um, I've got to shoot off for five minutes. I'll be back. You guys chat amongst what? yourself, right? Wait, where are you going? I'll be back, all right? Just relax. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You better know, dear, how much I love you. So please, don't take my sunshine away. Hey! Hey! Who the bloody hell are you, man? Oh, oh sorry. It was an accident, I swear. Hey, uh, oh my God! I'm sorry. He's my friend. He's my friend. I am his friend. I swear, he's not lying. Oh no, she um, uh, bloody waste my time. Come inside. You are my sunshine, my only. Come inside, man. I'll get you cleaned up. Ooh. Dude, you know you look just like your dad. What? Bro. We look nothing like each other. And how many times have I told you, if you're gonna come to my house, please teleport directly into my room. Last time I teleported, you were butt naked. <laughs> look, that doesn't matter anyway. What are you doing back here, man? Are you just here to eat my food or what? Remember I told you to track down a guy for me? Oh, the ice cream man. Bro, trust me, I know where he lives now. We don't even have to wait for the van to come to us. We can go to the van. Sick. Not the ice cream van guy, the other guy. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I, I did everything you asked. I spoke to a couple of people, DM'd a couple of girls. I even found someone for you. Trust me. What do you think of Wasima? 
They say it's Wasim. Dude, that's a guy! Uh, uh, to be honest, I never liked her anyways. But, uh, word on the street is, the, the, the guy you're looking for, he's a ghost. You'll never find it. Well, that's something better than nothing. You know what? That's not even the guy you should be worried about. There's some other maniac out there on a killing spree. I'll look into it, okay? Anyways, look, I'm gonna shoot off, so... Okay. It was good talking to you, all right? Cool. So we'll catch up soon, all right? Right. Uh, Terry, Terry, hmm? when am I joining the team? I've got superpowers too, you know? Ooh, Trust cool. me, I've been working out as well. Look at this, gains, right? Been going to gym, mm -hmm. and I've been working on my energy. Watch it, channeling my key. Right boys, who wants the duckling? Hey, you mean smoky? Fully explain the visions. I have, Ethan. It doesn't make sense. Like, why would I erase my own memories? It seemed like you were trying to protect someone. Okay, yeah, I knew that, but I don't know. There's got to be something. Little details. All I saw were you in the room with two men, and one of them was wearing a blue jacket. Blue jacket? Blue jacket? Blue jacket? Blue jacket? Blue jacket? Blue jacket? So, what are we waiting for? It's called a stakeout, you moron. And we're waiting for the target to come out. Alright, not to be rude. Get ready, it's the Major. Good evening, gentlemen. Major. major. I assume you both are in position. Yes, we are, Major. Excellent. Contingency asset is being prepped as we speak. I expect you both to complete your mission this time around. Successfully. Copy that, Major. We won't let them get away this time. <gasps> we'll always keep you updated. What? Glad to hear that, Agent Magnus. Major, we have the target in sight. Proceed as planned. This is Major Boss signing out. Wait, what's the plan again? There's nothing to talk about. Stop walking away from me. Taxi for Mr. Norman, mate. Sure, why not? We need to leave, now. What, why?
Well, well, well. You must be either incredibly brave or naively stupid. Probably about both. Wrong choice of words. So surreal. Oh, this is as real as it gets, my friend. As real as it gets. For our existence. Our freedom. Oof. All right, guys, I'm back. That was Man. quick. Yeah. How'd it go? Well, not much to go on. Put it that way. Right. Are you ready to begin? Begin with what? Your training, of course. Mm. Time to get your game face on, baby. Ha! Game face? Game face. I'll explain to you what it means. Come on, let's go. See you later, bitches. <laughs> okay, it's activating. Are you ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oof. This is where I learned to control my powers. I don't want to get you to do the same. But I've tried so many times. How is this any different? You need to think of your power or speed as a muscle. The rest will take care of itself. Look, it's real simple, right? Mind of a muscle. That's all it is, Ray. Mind of a muscle. Just watch and learn. Now it's your turn, all right? Remember, focus your mind and free yourself of any doubts. All right. Let's try again. Deja vu. One more time. Okay. Ready? Go! Uh, well, you did it! How do you feel? I feel in control. This is just the beginning. You can even run faster than that. How do you know I could do it? Nothing is impossible, Ray, if you put your mind to it. <sighs> Yellow. I have a mission for you and your little protege. <laughs> if you're up to it. A couple robberies happening in East London. You wanted to see me? Why am I hearing that you've been chasing fantasy stories again? It's not what you think, Harry. The stories I'm working on are very real. Right, so perhaps you can tell me the difference between fact and fiction. Okay, this is going to sound a little ridiculous, but there is a supernatural phenomenon sweeping across the country affecting people in really strange ways. Supernatural phenomena? Yes. Or call it superhuman metaphysics, if you like. This could potentially change the world in good or bad ways. Listen to me, Nettie. 
listen to me and listen to me good. This newspaper, this establishment is based on two very important principles. One is validity and the other is credibility. From what you just told me, your story lacks both. So as far as I am concerned, everything you just told me is complete fiction. This isn't fiction, Harry. Today we had a suspected terrorist attack. That was real. Don't you see something very big is happening right in front of our eyes and we're so oblivious to it? Well, until you can substantiate it, it's as good as fake news. Just give me a few more days and I'll have something concrete, I promise. Right, this is what I'm going to do for you, because I like you. I'm going to give you 24 hours. 24 hours to turn this thing around. By that time, you will be reassigned. 24 hours? Come on, Harry, that's not enough time. Well, perhaps that time you can sit down and think about it. Think about how ridiculous your claims are. I can't wait until this story is published and then you can see that I was right. 24 hours, Letty, time is ticking. You rolled as well. Okay. Triangulating location. Okay. Uh, sending coordinates now. Ha <laughs> ha. Got this. What's going on? It's time to put into practice what you've learnt. Meet me here in five minutes, and then rendezvous back here. No. Wait. Uh, I've only just got the hang of it. It's not my problem. Catch me if you can. Yeah, I just had my meeting with Harry. I'm outside. See you in a minute. Bye. Hey! Someone help! It's just all in my phone! That's your guy over there. Go kick some ass. Right, do that. <laughs> 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 Give me that. And you, my friend. I'm going straight to the police station. Why, so was real? That fat freak with a beard trying to burn us with his hand. With his bomb of clout hand. I bet there's more freaks out there like him. See that? See that? See that? I told you! I told you! I told you! There you go, ma'am. Are you hurt? Are you injured? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Ray, I'm gonna go. Hold on. You're Ray. Uh, I'm Letitia. Oh. Oh, Letitia. How did you run that fast? Uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, I have to go. No. Wait. <laughs> Come on, Pikachu! Oh. oh, it's you. Did you see what I did? I just saved someone. You did good, kid. You kind of exposed yourself. What? What do you mean? Look, just don't get involved in the craziness. It's in and out before they can even see you. But we're the resistance. We are meant to be superheroes. True. But I wasn't always leading the resistance, you know. Once I had a brother. He taught me everything I know. Oh. You never told me you had a brother. Well, fortunately, once people knew who he was, he lost his life. You have to understand, you make enemies in this job. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. How do you keep it all together? I guess it's my faith in God. Even though we can do these extraordinary things. But I realized, with all those powers, I can't save everyone. Right, come on, let's get back to base. <sighs> okay. Fiona, you have, you can't marry Lord Farquaad, okay? No, look, you have to marry Shek. I, I know he looks like Wayne Rooney, but you have to marry him. 
آبا دور زد که بری من را آبا ساسا تیپو میرا Why do I have to do everything by myself, literally? Who drank my red? Why do I even remember drinking red? Who drank my red? Drank my red ball, man. Drank my Come in, man, stupid little kids. Huh? Ethan? Where is he? What are you doing here? Where's who? Wait, you can't just barge in like that. What the hell? Huh? Who are you? What? You can't just walk into a Bengali household uninvited, man. No more games. You know who. Listen, no, I told you, if you wanted my help, we cannot get Tarek involved. I don't care. You lied to me. Where is Tarek? Do you not want my help? And don't you dare touch my hat! Oh, someone, please tell me what the hell is going on. And what's a Tarek? <laughs> You think this is fighting for our freedom? Why else would we be doing this, Aoife? Man, come on! Like, this is the guy you said could help us. Ethan? Tariq, I was gonna... My mom's plants! Oh, you done. Ethan, son of a bitch. Oh. Wake him up. Wakey, wakey. Who's not waking up, sir? It's because he slept like a sissy. Now step aside. Wake up, Daniel. Where am I? You're a long way from home, son. What do you want? Well, Daniel, I have an interesting proposition for you. But, in return, we require your help. Why would I want to help you? Because... I am offering you the chance to be free. Created equal. 